Hello, this is Tony with the Fix My Rich Show with the fancy sticks bumper music. Okay, that's good. Anyway, so I wanted to discuss so my favorite topic, which is social engineering. And I, I wanted to go back to one of my favorite uh, uh, cartoonists, Dilbert and his uh, pointy-haired boss. Dilbert looks at an email, enter your bank account number. He says, oh, it's a scam. Uh, Alice says, it's a scam. The boss says, oh, okie dokie, I'm going to enter it. So it only takes one person out of thousands to get to get stiffed and the, the, the hackers get their money and therefore if they get their money they're going to keep doing it you know we're we're going to get continually bombarded by bitching attacks and it's going to get worse it's not going to get easier because people are falling for it that's the bottom line so i i i uh, found this image from uh, an old post of mine which really is an old version of how different ways of attacks that, th that can come at you to a company. Now remember, I created this post earlier this year because I wanted to point out that in 2024, there were a variety of uh, reports that said only 14% of small medium businesses have a security plan in place but small businesses account for 43 percent of all cyber attacks and that's the ones that are being reported so I think it's higher remember it's just as easy to attack a thousand large companies it's just as easy to attack a million companies so they're not differentiating between large and small companies. It's just that the large companies have the wherewithal to handle the attacks, usually. Whereas, you know, I don't know if you're spending, how much time are you really spending on cybersecurity defense? Are you even doing vulnerability assessments? So security is people, process, and technology. So the people get attacked with the, fish, the phishing, the social engineering, texting. And they, heck, if you find a USB on the, on the ground someplace, are you going to plug it into your computer? Do not plug into it. So anyway, are you going to tell people what, what they should be doing in your company with your equipment? Or are you going to just hope everyone does what they're supposed to be doing. This is the thing, you know. So uh, I wanted to give you, like this is the newer um, image of that older image up here. Anyway, and it's basically the same thing. This We're being attacked with a variety of different manners. And it comes from my... Uh, the Too Late Your Hacked Guide, which is in my store. It's at Oversight Sentry. It's in my shop. And uh, here it is for $9. And I th I'll even give you a free shipping. So it'll only cost you $9 to, if you wanted to get this uh, Too Late Your Hacked Guide. Special until uh, the end of May. I also have security policies can be, I will also have our uh, you can you can buy some hours some uh, some of my consulting hours you can just donate to keep me uh, in running if you like some of my uh, content here so I w did want to discuss some specific social engineering uh, email so you know the obvious ones 
or for example, you know, like a Geek Squad email. Let's say you do have Geek Squad. I mean, I wouldn't because I'm a I'm a security person, so I'm not gonna. I I'm IT. I don't. I do my own IT stuff. Anyway, so let's say you do use Geek Squad on occasion. Do they have a subscription, or is it a specific item? So if you get an email, you know, in other words, you're you're wanting to ins get it, get your your TV installed, and that's going to cost you three hundred dollars or whatever. So is it really a subscription? But in either case, even if you let's say you you use Geek Squad last week, and now you get this email. I would contact Geek Squad with your own phone numbers. Do not use these numbers. And just check to see how your your status is, what your status is. Do it outside of this email. So and then of course I wanted to give another example is this HSBC. You get a lot of these emails come in and they say, Oh, the attached payment advice is issued. So basically, they're trying to get you to click on the box. Now, if I would right-click on it and copy the link and then paste it into my Word document or Notepad, because Notepad doesn't make you do anything else with it, that way you can check to see what your what you would have clicked on if you did click if you would have click if you did if you did click on it. So that way you can check to see where you're going. So that so I would suggest not to click on anything that you're getting in the email unless you know exactly where you're going and that's exactly what you want to do. So if you have an account on HSBC, I would go to HSBC separately and check them out on your own. Do not use the link on that email. That's the way you handle social engineering and I discuss those kinds of things in my uh, guide guide to let your hack guide and you know I've also I've discussed this many times in um, in, in my blogs in my blog posts and my my uh, the guide so here's another interesting which I have discussed before Apparently, you know, hey, did you have you gotten your refund claim yet? The SECTC and ERC are federal government programs, you know, blah, blah, blah. So if you look into this specific program, you find that there is a program like that, but it's only valid in 2022. So if you get this email today, it's fake. So it's probably sending you somewhere else. And I, I made that point later, later down here in that in this blog post. So in the tax season 2022, it's valid. It's not, you know, it's not this year. And the other thing is actually the form that you would be filling out is based out of a company in the United Kingdom. So that's kind of suspect in the first place. So that whole thing was fake. And like a lot of those things are, I wanted to give a couple of examples. You know, and there's many examples in my website. So I would suggest keep an eye on my posts. Click on this um this video, if you like it, give me uh, give me a shout out. Let me know you want to see more examples of social engineering, more phishing texts that uh, I've uh, uh, that tell you what you're supposed to be doing, and and you know you're not supposed to do that. So you more more tips and tricks. That's kind of what my too late your hack guide is. It's a lot of tips and tricks. So 
go to my store and uh, get some get 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 a too late your head guy. Thank you for listening. There's a little more bumper music. And click like, comment, let me know what you think. Have a good day.